In the first look video, I had some issues at the end where my PC crashed. And then in the last episode, Stringbean and I went out exploring and got stuck in a bog. This episode, I plan to do a little bit of contract work in this brand new truck. Well, I say brand new, it was the one that I towed into the garage from around the other side. So, let's just head off around here. And you can see this is the garage. I didn't really show it much last time because uh, I wanted to get on and try the multiplayer out on this, which worked very well. So you can see there's a few trailers over there that we can take. And I left my trailer somewhere over in, well, just somewhere. If I stop the truck and switch the handbrake on, we'll go into the map. And we'll head into here. Husky Fording, Farming Tools. So, a local farm by the name of Matthew and Sons has contracted us to see if we can help them out with a shipment of tools for repairs. You should be able to find the shipment somewhere near the garage. And that is the curtain cider trailer there. And we've literally just got to deliver it to the farm. So let's activate that. Okay, so if we now go into uh, reverse, And preferably take off the handbrake, that's normally um, a help. Just line up there, a bit too far. We'll just edge forward slightly. There we go, right. Let's unlock the mouse and attach trailer, there we go. So now we should be able to just take this down to the farm. Now I'm going to do this in first person simply because it just looks awesome. You can really get a feel for the truck in this view as well, feel it bouncing around. It's very nice. Try and turn around. Now the good thing about this truck that I uh, managed to tow into the garage is that this uh, has off-road features. So we've got diff locks and all-wheel drive. So it's going to be a lot easier with this uh, than the truck that we started out with. I'm just going to move that mouse out of the way. It's quite annoying. Okay, this is where we might need all-wheel drive. So let's activate that. Take this truck for a dip. Let's actually head outside for this so you can really see it going through. Looks fantastic. Now, the farm is not down that track, it's the next one along, I believe. Getting a bit more difficult to keep going now. Good job we got that all-wheel drive, otherwise I don't think we'd make it through here. Absolutely love the graphics of this. And the physics as well. All looking fantastic. Okay, so the farm is just down here. Let's turn all wheel drive off and see if that makes a difference at all. Doesn't seem to have done. Actually, I'll switch it back on. Again, it might be a bit easier. Yeah, that's, that's easier already. So we'll keep that on. We'll turn into the farm, Ooh. or try to, 
see us skidding off there. Here we go, we're going to leave it in the nice wet mud. Oh, okay, it does just disappear apparently. Interesting. Right, well, that's that done though. Which is pretty good. So, we've done one of the first contracts. Now, I'm not going to count the bridge, uh, wherever it is over there as a contract, because that was technically still part of the tutorial. Now it looks like there's a ramp flatbed trailer there, a uh, fuel carrier over here. This one is uh, the one that I just left down there when I kept getting stuck. And it looks like there's a drowned scout truck over there. I wonder if it's worth going and having a look at that. Wet harvest. Deliver to farm. Two bricks, two wooden planks, and one metal plank. I think we'll do that after we go and have a look at this drowned scout truck, because it might be that we can pull it out. So we'll go past the... Rather nice farmhouse. Quite an old looking one, but that's quite nice. I quite like the older style uh, houses. I just feel more homely. Okay, so that is the scout truck that's been drowned in the flood. How on earth it got out into the field, I do not know. And how on earth I'm going to get it out of there is also something of which I do not know. So we we'll switch on the diff locks. Ah, we need to go into low gear. And now we'll switch on diff locks. Oh boy. This may have been a mistake. Uh... to that. Oh, let's hope that I don't end up pulling that stump over here because that would be bad. There we go. We're on to a bit sturdier land now. So we'll release the winch. Now, how do I go about doing this? I really don't want to get stuck again. I think if we stick on that bit there, that seems to be a bit sturdier than the rest. Or maybe not. Come on. We're so nearly there. Don't get stuck here. Come on, keep it moving. Oh man, that's... Um, what can we attach to? There isn't really anything to attach to, which is a bit of a problem. So let's we try and winch the truck out. Get it to a level where we can control it again. I think I know the direction of which it'd be best to go. It's just about getting down there. So we'll need to go try and get out of this patch over here. Onto that dry a bit. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's where we need to be. Oh man, not again. Come on, not here. We're putting a lot of weight on this very wet mud, and that's part of the problem. 
so I wonder if we can actually tow it from here we can now that's interesting so we can get this out now and ourselves out let's actually we'll put the hand brake on we don't want to travel too much Ooh, we're going to lose that we will lose that in a minute right let's release that we'll put it in reverse let's get ourselves out of here okay we're not gonna not gonna use the accelerator that might make it worse just do it a little tad there we go okay so now if we go back to this stick on the handbrake let's drag this scout truck out of the water now what we do with this afterwards I don't know I wonder if it's one that we keep or if I'm just doing a mission in advance right I think we should be able to get out of here if I release the winch I may have got us actually stuck in here that's never a good sign okay let's get that attached to there I think even if we have to knock down that fence it'll be better than nothing at all now I wonder if we can winch two things at once no we can't okay that's interesting though there we go come on let's pull it out The question I have is should we focus on getting us out to a safe level first maybe if we winch over that way that's looking better okay so from here we should be able to attach to there and go yes here we go come on don't lose it now probably gonna take out a few of these trees in the process but we can salvage this which we have I think that's pretty good going Oh, we're taking we're taking down some of the farmers' fences as we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to the farmer. Um, oops. Uh, I can't. There we go. Right, let's bring this truck backwards. Let's actually get our lights on as well let's release it there what I'll try to do is turn right around should be able to just use this gear now we've oh we've destroyed some of the crops that's yeah sorry to the farmer um, oopsie ah a bit too far away right that's fine reverse back here there we 
go. Now, there we go. We have got a scout truck. What we do with it, I have no idea. But I'm sure we'll soon find out. Let's try and turn it round here. I wonder if we can look on the map at uh, what we do with this. Because I honestly don't know. So, the scout truck that we've just pulled out, which is there, what do we do with it? Hmm. Not sure. I wonder if it's something in there. Missing machinery? No. Drowned scout truck. There we go. What do we do with it, though? Deliver drowned scout truck to the farm. Which is here. So, if we do that, we should complete the mission. Now, it doesn't look like we have to activate it, so we should be able to just head straight over into the area with the truck. that done? Possibly. Stop the engine. Change truck to right. So, we've got the truck into there. Drown scout truck. Is that done? Missing machinery. I'm assuming that that's going to be done, but I'm not sure. Right, well, I'm going to hope that that's done and leave it there. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed this one. Not a very long one this time, but hopefully you all had fun. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and join my Discord server with the link in the description. And I will see you all in the next one.